Hello everybody, my name is Blue Order, and welcome to another reaction video. And before anything starts, I just want to thank you guys so much for 7,000 subscribers. It's weird knowing 7,000 human beings were actually entertained enough by my content to subscribe. That's freaking awesome, guys. I love you guys so much. You guys make me so happy, and I, I feel like just me making... I have a couple videos, it's it's not enough to like add up to repay you guys. So yeah, thank you for 7,000 subscribers. I love each and every one of you. You guys are freaking awesome. Alright, next up. Um, I haven't done this in a while, but we got some more hate comments that I didn't let go through. I've still been getting hate comments, but like, don't worry, it's not like often. It's not, it's pretty spaced out actually. But I said, alright, screw it. I, I just let some of them through, but these ones I didn't let through. Because they're, they're, they're mean. They're not, they're not okay. So let's get started here. Zero, one, three, five says, Cancer. Don't joke about cancer. It's not a, not a very good thing, just in case if you uh, haven't got the memo. It's not something to joke about. Nu este en stock nu se puete. Your face is pretty ugly. Gabriel Guy, you're actually f***ing ugly. Uh, well, thank you both. For, um, telling me something that I already know. To be fair, those two videos that they commented on were what I consider some of my ugliest videos. Storm in the Room, I mean, look at that freaking thumbnail. That's so ugly. Like, the, the video quality was not good because I was recording with a, uh, like a PC laptop webcam that was probably built for Skype. It was, it was choppy footage. The frames, terrible. It's, ah, the lighting, bad. Overall, just bad, bad editing. Bad. And then we're to begin part three. Uh, look at me. I look like a freaking idiot. <laughs> so that's it for hate comments. So this is a thing you guys have been asking for forever. <laughs> Star versus the forces of evil. And what better way to post this as a 7,000 subscriber special? Now, originally, I was planning on doing uh, the entirety of season one in one video. But the problem with that is that I didn't establish a deadline. Because with that, I could be like, oh, I could just record whenever, and like, I'm done whenever, it's fine. But no, I have to have a deadline for myself. I have to set a schedule. Otherwise, nothing gets done. I'm such a bad procrastinator. And it's bad, because, like, I realize that I'm procrastinating as I'm procrastinating, and I can't stop it. It's actually terrible, and it, it pains me. Oh, God. And this was like an unintentional break that I took. It, 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 no, it wasn't even a break. I'm just lazy. But yeah, this was this was a really bad time. But uh, I think I established a schedule that can help prevent this again. So I'm planning on doing every three episodes, probably every week or every other week. It would make sense because every other week I could also do Adventure Time at that same schedule. And so it's like alternating. So that would probably work out. Also, I apologize for the uh, the mic quality in this video. I noticed something. Uh, these headphones with the uh, microphone that I used to use, they're not very good. <laughs> probably worse than uh, no microphone, which is what I'm using right now. Just my laptop microphone. So yeah, here's the uh, first three episodes of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I'm sorry this took so long. I'm going to try not to take so long next time. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, Monday. Monday is the day where I'm planning on uploading, uh, Star vs. the Forces of Evil. So probably every other Monday. Then again, probably every other Tuesday I'm gonna try to upload Adventure Time. Three episodes each. So I'm gonna shut up now, let's go. Alright, let's go. Okay, from another dimension, so yeah, I'm pretty sure Star is an alien then. Alright. Let's go! New series. In a magical land called Muni, Muni, okay. That's what Muni is. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. She's gonna cause like mass destruction with it now. Are you sure? Okay. Alright. <laughs> Oh, there she goes on the conveyor. Oh, never mind. We're sending you to train in a safer dimension. Oh, so you could cause chaos in another dimension instead of yours. Smart. Okay. All right, go wreak havoc on everyone. Uh oh. 
Great, great job being uh, discreet. This isn't gonna work. Oh, now it's gonna work. She's going to need a guide. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, so if I heard that right, his name is Marco. Marco. Okay. Oh my God. Wrong for this. I'm a misunderstood bad boy. <laughs> I'd like taking risks and would welcome a little danger in my life. Oh well, that's a bit much then. There goes that guy. Who are you? I'm John C. I'm a magical princess. Okay. <laughs> With devil horns, I am pretty sure that is, yeah. Yeah, time to run. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I'm not sure. I think the pitch is like increased on this. I'm not sure. Oh my god. Oh no. We could have gotten that from a litter of puppies. I love puppies. And okay. Now they have puppies. That shoot lasers. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the pitch is like increased on this. I'm probably gonna have to find another one. Oh, and their schmuck followed them. All right. No, they they went to hell. Okay, so they're frogs. Noted. Oh really? I think she's gonna wreak havoc on everything. Uh oh. Oh well. Yes, that works. And they also just broke a hole in everything. I wish I had a room like this. You do? Oh no. What did you do? Suck! Suck! You never get the suck! <laughs> there goes his room. You're moving in. I am moving out. Well He's dead. And you didn't get a choice about having to deal with me. Oh. Oh, death approaches already, okay. Ludo. Oh. Oh shit. Alright, so he knows karate. But I think she probably could have handed it handled this whole situation with the death machine she's holding in her hand, so. There goes that guy's car. Oh <laughs> well. He's on acid. Yeah, this pitch is definitely freaking higher than I think it normally is. I'm either gonna have to like edit that or you know, just find another source. Why don't they just get him right now and then boom, the, the antagonist out of the way. Just turn him into like a cloud or something. Then he'd be... I thought he was just decapitated, holy shit. No, I don't think so. I want you to stay with us. As long as you don't destroy the entire house. And is that only the first episode? Oh no! Okay, so this this does both of them. Death approaches? What's happening? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is happening? Let me just wake up, Marco. Oh god, it's not a dead person! Okay. Oh, well. Okay. I mean, I think you gotta clean up that mess on the doorstep right now, so... Well, there they go. Oh. Alright, so is she like an interdimensional criminal then? Yeah, don't, don't die. He's probably gonna like. Yep. Yeah. He's gonna kill him. Oh. <laughs> now, how does she not hear that? Oh no, she didn't. Mmm. <laughs> oh, okay. Fall. <laughs> Holy shit. No, okay, yeah. Okay. Amethyst Arcade, hold on. Also, what the f 
<laughs> what is happening here? Oh, it's the feds. I don't think so. Jesus. How's that gonna work? She can't hit the buttons. Oh yeah? Well your mother's a uh oh. Dead. Oh my god. <laughs> He's bleeding. Oh, they're just gonna freaking leave Marco there? No. Rip Marco. Okay. Uh oh. The feds got him. Yeah. Oh. What if I do this? Oh no. That's really annoying. I won't need it where I'm going. Uh oh. She's gonna like give herself up. Oh, okay. She's just leading them on a freaking goose chase. No <laughs> Tetris. Oh no. Why would that ever help? That's just her plan, just destroy everything. And she's dead. And arrested. We got your back. Your head. You don't even know who they are. Are they even monsters or are they like cops? Oh shit. I'm going to St. O's! <gasps> Not St. Olga's reform school for wayward princesses! Oh. There she goes. <laughs> So we might be seeing her again, but probably not for a while because she's going to jail. So. Yep, okay, that's probably foreshadowing. Oh, kids, you have them and then you wish they weren't around. We're stuck in another dimension! No, because she got the seizures. We can go anywhere we want, anywhere in the entire universe. I know just the place. Home and eat nachos, yeah, okay. That's what I would do. I'm not not gonna go on some wacky adventures. What the hell is this? Special time. Oh, he's dead. Stay there. Ow! Ah, oh, that's loud. Jesus Christ! Stop that! Ow! That was so loud. Well, that was the uh, the first two episodes because there's sort of like two episodes in one. I noticed again. I'm gonna say that again. The the pitch was definitely like 100% higher, and that's why they all sounded weird and slightly annoying. <laughs> so yeah, let's just get right into the next episode. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to uh, record it now. It, um, I'm not sure if I have that much time. So you're, I'm probably gonna be like teleporting around in this video. Episode two in its entirety. Sorry for the shitty lighting. Okay, yeah. So this one has a fixed pitch. It's not a uh, high pitch like the last time, so hopefully it's not going to be a uh, hell to listen to. So, let's go. I think the uh, the theme song is definitely better at normal pitch than the uh, the higher pitched one. I'm probably going to play the higher pitch theme song right now. Yeah, it's pretty wacky. Let's do this episode two out of like five thousand. Yeah, these voices are so much better already. Hey, hey, are those books? Where are you going with those books? Do you like to read? <laughs> I'm almost as good at matchmaking as I am with magic. Yeah, you're very good with magic. I got an F for fantastic. <laughs> oh, Miss Golden. Oh, no. What? Man, Oh, no. That didn't work. What are you doing? Oh, she just, like, killed your teacher, though. Oh, another. I think it's the same antagonist. Yeah. Isn't she isn't she usually distracted though? If my parents find out about this, they're gonna send me to <laughs> the place. She's gonna scream on the conveyor belt. Watch it. Oh never mind. Okay. I thought they were about to do the thing with <laughs> screams on the conveyor belt. Oh <laughs> Can she see the teacher like right behind her though? How? She was just tied up. Catching you at your most distracted. What? I have been way more distracted than this. I yeah, really. Dagger, crystal, heart attack. Heart attack. Jesus. Ow. Oh. Wow. Marco's getting like shit on it. 
<laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> they can't speak the language though. Like... Hey Marco, you can handle this for a minute on your own, right? Oh yeah, no problem. I love how these aren't even just any bits of threats to them. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, really, they're going after Marco, the ones right there. And now you're dead. Oh, and you also destroyed everything. It's time for you to run. Wait, did I just kill that guy? No, he's not dead. He's probably just bleeding internally and being baby about it. Let's this show's really good with jokes. I feel like it's also one of those shows that you wouldn't expect to see on, like, Disney Channel. Or Disney XD in this case. Oh, jeez, is that Rose Quartz? Look at the gem. <laughs> the truth about Rose confirmed. What about my A? Try studying. Yeah, you might want to study in order to do anything, Star. Marco's, yeah, Marco's probably gonna be like jealous. He's getting left. Oh, never mind. Oh, uh oh. He dumped me, I think. Oh. Then that means I'm even than I am with magic. Yeah, and now you just killed Marco. Again. Alright, so part two of episode two. Let's do this. And now, Brittany Wong, who became head cheerleader on her own and not because her dad made a generous donation to the school. <laughs> We're going up against the Warriors. <laughs> oh. I feel like Star's gonna be like, hey, they should win, and then, like, kill the other team. <laughs> Alright, so it seems like this is already one of those shows where, like, something happens and it stays like that. It's not like, say, Spongebob, something happens and everything immediately resets the next day. Hey, Scooby, what's your favorite weapon? Battle axe. Battle <laughs> Badly the real possum wasn't flying possum. Oh, the possum died. Oh, boy. What is she, wait, what's she up to? I think I missed what she was about to do. Losses. Sorry, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Commencing security sweep for the warriors. Over. You're, you're not talking into anything, though. How can we prevent another tragic loss to our team? <laughs> Maybe even throw a couple of big bombs. Yeah, oh, no. I see my car. I don't think you understand what you just did. <laughs> Ow. Lucky for you. Assign the royal guards as my babysitters. You know you've done it right when you hear the next snap. Okay, <laughs> if she needs to stop existing right now. You guys ready to be part of my kitty cat office? Oh no. He's gonna like turn them into death machines. Like. <laughs> Isn't she, he's supposed to be like the mascot. He's supposed to be there at the game. Just hiding them. Oh. Whoa. Who's ready for a bloody bloody bloodbath? Oh my god. What's with that crazy look in your eyes? Oh my god. Oh. I booby trapped the battlefield. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Oh no, <laughs> run. <laughs> Tragic loss, oh no. What the hell is this? What? Those are actual, like, bombs, though. Oh my Christ. <laughs> Aw, oh, just do that to all of the, them. You don't have to fight them in that case. Oh my god, what a schmuck. Yeah, kill her. Done. <laughs> that was a cr That was a crunch. She's like, actually dead. Bro, why are you running straight towards a bomb? Oh my god. And he's fine after stepping on a bomb. Well, that was an absolute tragedy. I really messed up. Yeah. You mean hey, they just forfeited. We win! 
Whoa. <laughs> I, I doubt the actual school would call that. It was sort of a tragedy that just took place. Yeah. Rip. Yeah, there goes Marco. He's dead. All right, so there is episode two, and I'm just now realizing this lighting is absolutely atrocious. Um, that's not really good, so not sure what I'm gonna do there. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so here we go. Episode three. This is the last one for the video. Um, then I'm gonna start going with the schedule, and I won't be on breaks like these anymore. Hopefully. Oh wow. Wait a minute. Wasn't his room destroyed by like a black hole? Oh. Okay. You had that all the time, yet you were still like winging it. It's gonna take me forever to find. Oh, here it is. Wow. Okay. How convenient. This is not gonna end well. Oh. Well. Good job. What? Oh God. Just killed him. Jesus. You can. Oh no. She can't call her mother. Then she'll rat him out. Hey, wanna hear a joke? Here goes. My ex-wife still misses me, but her aim is getting better. Oh my god. That's a good one, Lars. Lars. <laughs> oh shit. No one hits low. Get shit on. I serve him in your death. What the <laughs> Wasn't him as the monster arm though. I wanted to be my boyfriend. Me too. Oh my god. Yeah, you would have just killed him. See what I don't get is like instead of just sending her away to go destroy an entire world, why don't they just uh train her in magic? Well they probably couldn't. She was a menace. You're gonna fight with that? That sounds kind of unfair. Yeah. But as soon as they give me an advantage, you wanna take it away. Oh, a bad influence on you and i think you should go oh no don't listen to her she's oh jealous. no and then we're gonna slaughter all humans oh okay wow are you okay star no you look terrible and i have very low standards <laughs> jeremy burn bam <laughs> how is this oh okay he's gonna get destroyed Oh, it's good that he's getting destroyed. Oh, the badass with the arm. <laughs> oh, he's dead. That's not even karate at that point. Oh, Jesus. He's dead. Don't eat him. Don't eat Jeremy. Really? What the hell is this? Yeah, no shit. Wake up. <laughs> oh, kill it! Everything's just becoming an arm now. <laughs> oh, dead. He's gonna end up coming back though. Ow! No. Oh, you cheesy doodle! Cheesy doodler! Brass. <laughs> They're gold. <laughs> you boys have... <laughs> I wish I could fight you, Mom. <laughs> what the hell? Well, that arm is definitely gonna come back, though. I know. That was foreshadowing. Hey, uh, that's nothing to worry about, right? Uh, probably not. Time to panic. Okay. All right. Next episode. Happy 47th day on Earth, Star. Ah. Oh. I can't believe it. You can't. We've done this every day since you got here. <laughs> Who are you? Gustav. Gustav. For Marco, the handheld game, Lederhosen Tycoon. <laughs> and for Mr. Diaz, a genuine Viking helmet. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> the iceberg was sinking. Oh my god. Heedless of my own peril, I disrobed. I dove into the freezing fjord and I... Takes off his warm clothes when he's gonna jump into the, the freaking icy water. Pretty pretty smart, Gustav. Good job. I come from the country of Scandinavia. It is a land where Vikings teach gym class and everyone has a pet penguin. Even if you don't like penguins. Oop, too bad. <laughs> I think this is sort of like a, a counterpart to the, um, the episode where Star's friend came before she was like going off to Princess Jail and the whole jealousy not really like jealousy thing, but but it's a semi counterpart. How do they have time to bake a cake? Like, 
Oh. Now eat your cake and mind your own business. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, he's taking over. Okay. What the hell is this guy? What the f I feel like as soon as she has enough evidence, she's gonna be like, Oh, I was doing something completely innocent. You have lost your mind. If you look at some of the pictures though, I mean it's sort of justified. What what is happening, by the way? Oh no. Time to run. Hey man, there's nothing lame about seatbelt safety. <laughs> Where the hell is it? <laughs> Isolation point. Ah, there you go. It's gonna be something like completely innocent though, isn't it? Oh Christ. You think that's gonna stop her though? Oh Christ. <laughs> it's true. I'm full of lies. So you It's gonna be something like a a little a little yes. thing though. I mean I'm not from Scandinavia. Truth is my name is Charlie Booth. And uh, I'm just a guy from Bakersfield Ville. <laughs> Nobody's heard of it. Oh Bakersfield Ville. <laughs> the phone calls were to my meat guy, but he wouldn't pick up. Why is he so sketchy, though? Oh, it's me. Come on, man. I need the meat. So that's why I ran away and moved in with the Diaz's. Oh. What about measuring the Diaz's in their sleep? Okay. If there's ever anything I can do for you. Well, as a matter of fact, Charlie, there is. Bye! Bye. Oh, my God. What what did she just do? What'd she do though? That guy is just so real. <laughs> Bonjour. What's up? Hey, what a great surprise. <laughs> I bought the baguettes. <laughs> the baguettes. <laughs> That's great. He has like like multiple friggin' covers or whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> the baguettes. So again, I really like how this series um like, the things actually stay there. Like, it doesn't reset after each episode, like a lot of cartoons do. There's an actual story. It sticks there. You know, it's like Gravity Falls. Um, like, the S falling off of the sign of Mystery Shack. Yeah, it stayed there for, like, the entire series. So, yeah, so far this series is actually pretty good. And now that I have an established schedule, hopefully, um, I'll be able to upload it more often. So, yeah, hope you all enjoyed this reaction video, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.